good friends with Lolo and I have Miss Ashley here. She is the owner of Say It With A Cupcake Atlanta, which is right here based in Atlanta, obviously. I'm not gonna take up too much time. I'm gonna let her introduce herself and who she is. Go ahead, Ashley. Hi, I'm Ashley. I am the owner of Say It With A Cupcake. Um, Say It With A Cupcake was founded last year. Actually, we just celebrated our first year. Cheers to us. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. And we handcraft traditional and vegan um, cupcakes and cakes. We've gotten into cookies and all the fun yums that you guys love. So you said vegan cupcakes. I've mm -hmm. never heard of vegan cupcakes. What exactly are vegan cupcakes? So vegan cupcakes, they are like plant-based. Um, they're not made with you know any of the of the butters and the oils and all that yummy ish stuff that we are accustomed to mm -hmm. so instead of like using like the regular butter or margarine um i use like a plant-based olive oil butter um instead of milk i'll use like almond milk um or like some soy free milk or something mm -hmm. like that um do not use eggs of course i do have an egg substitute that i will not tell what it is um and I use almond flour. If they're allergic to nuts, then I'll use coconut flour. Okay, so is this the keto cupcakes that you was telling me about before? So keto has bits and pieces of the vegan too. Mm -hmm. um, but keto to me is like a vegan-ish type of um, thing. So because I believe that, that keto people, um, that they have to have like the oils mm -hmm. and the fats and stuff. I think so that their body can feed off of it mm -hmm. or something. And that sort. I'm not sure. I'm not quite keto. I just know how to make it. So you you have, you have cupcakes for everybody. You have cupcakes yes. for people who like regular cupcakes. You yes. have keto cupcakes. You have vegan cupcakes. You have it all. Yes. So what got you into doing this? So... I, years ago, I used to want a cupcake shop. I honestly didn't even know how to make a cupcake. Mm -hmm. I um, I remember I used to make them for my kids and I would use, you know, like the store-bought icing, mm -hmm. you know, and just not really understand the fundamentals of it. Mm -hmm. So honestly, um, last year I was Ubering and I saw this girl post that she was doing cheesecake jars for her passengers. Mm -hmm. And she was selling them. So I was like, you know what? I can do that too. Right. That's my whole model for almost everything. Right. So she, um, so I started selling like the jars and then I got invited to a kickback mm -hmm. and they needed something for me to bring. Right. So I was like, you know what? Let me try cupcakes. Right. I tried it. They loved it. I was like, hey, let's try this into a business. Right. The rest is history, but I have always loved cupcakes and cake and icing and all that fun stuff. Okay, so what do we have? What type of goodies do we have before us today, honey? All right, so I made a cake. I wanted to do a cake that was specific to fall colors. Mm -hmm. um, I totally love the purple and the teal. It's so pretty. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And the darkish orange as well as with the ivory. So I made cupcakes um, for us, so we can eat them as mm -hmm. well. And we did roses, hydrangeas, and I made cupcakes for us to try. To exactly. frost. Okay, because I was, I was telling you earlier that I tried to make a cake for my son's birthday. Mm -hmm. And you, did you make this icing right here? Yes. Okay, yeah. so tell me mm -hmm. who needs to learn and others who may not know what's the key to making a good icing because i see it's not runny it's not going all over the place it, it looks perfect so what's the key to doing this so with frosting um i love to use butter mm -hmm. butter is the key in life unsalted or me. salted you know the recipes say unsalted mm -hmm. i'm from the south <laughs> right i use salt right i'm from the so, south too. right <laughs> So I use salted butter, honestly. Um, I use, um, I cannot think of what it's called. Um, oh, the heavy whipping cream. Mm -hmm. um, and the com 
confectioner's sugar. So I use maybe two or three sticks of butter, um, maybe like a third of a quart of a cup mm -hmm. um, of the the heavy whipping cream. Mm -hmm. I mix those together until it's you know like a very good blend, mm -hmm. and then I start to slowly add in my sugar. So earlier I seen some strawberries up here. I don't know where they went, yes. but I want those strawberries. They are right here. I just sat them to the side. So can you show everybody yes. these strawberries? Um, so I made some strawberry crunch dipped mm -hmm. strawberries. It's one of my favorite snacks. Mm -hmm. It's like super healthy because it's strawberries. And it's really good. So, so can I try? Yeah, of course. I'm gonna try one too because I'm hungry. Mm. Okay. I've seen people post these on Facebook before, but mm -hmm. this is good. this is my first time actually trying this. I'm mm -hmm. probably gonna go home and try to try my, make them myself. It's really easy, I promise. So how do you, how, what exactly, what's the steps for making these? Okay, so of course, um, you wouldn't eat so much strawberries. Mm -hmm. um, you, you use white chocolate. Mm -hmm. I, I buy the white chocolate almond bark, mm -hmm. um, melted in 30 seconds. And and 30 second intervals. Um, you dip the, the strawberry. It's very easy with the toothpick. Mm -hmm. um, you dip the strawberry and then you can twirl it more so mm -hmm. um, into whatsoever you like. People like to use things like coconut, mm -hmm. um, like the little chocolate chip bits, like different, you know, type of like nuts and things like that. I'll be sure to give you um, some strawberry crunch so you can. Right. Now I'll be sure to take appreciate home that. Too. <laughs> okay, so you said you're gonna teach me how to decorate cupcakes because yes. I told you I absolutely suck at decorating cupcakes. And while we decorate these cupcakes, we're gonna talk about some life stuff and all types of things. We're gonna pick your brain a little bit while you help me decorate these cupcakes. So first of all. Mm -hmm. Do these have different type of tips on them or? Yes, so I have two different tips. The, it's the one that I like to use to make roses mm -hmm. and actually the hydrangeas. Mm -hmm. um, it's, which ones are high? Can you show me? Yes, okay. these are roses. Mm -hmm. And this one is hydrangeas. It's a pretty, super pretty flower. That's pretty. And so this one. requires a lot of focus to do this, right? Yes. Okay. Not much, but you know. Okay. So I'll much. let you go ahead and. Okay. So I'm gonna only do one mm -hmm. because I, I believe in once and and just okay. yeah. <laughs> so okay. So I have my white. Mm -hmm. White. Mm -hmm. I guess we'll do. So you do kind of. It's kind of like you're making the letter E. Mm -hmm. Okay. I had to think about it. How that letter E looks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you just go to mm -hmm. and like an E. Mm -hmm. Then we'll do another one. Just because we're gonna give you another letter E. Oh, a lowercase yeah. letter E. Okay. Yeah. Because I was like a capital E. Mm -mm. I was about to be writing all over these cupcakes. <laughs> And then I also like to use this little tip for mm -hmm. like smaller. You can also do like a smaller rose mm -hmm. in it as well. But I like to just. Okay. I think I, I, I think I could try. I might not be perfect. Like I mean. This. And that was the whole purpose of me starting this because I know there are different people in the world who do things that I can't do. So I wanted sure. to like go around and, you know, visit different people and see what they can do. Cause it's a lot of things that people can do that I can't do and a lot of things I can do mm -hmm. that people can do. And a lot of people say, think that because I was in the military and I was a cook that I know a lot of stuff. First of all, I didn't, I didn't even really know how to cook until after I got out of the military. The I military sh showed me some stuff, but it didn't show me everything. Like. These cupcakes would have been just like this right. before. I wouldn't have put all this. <laughs> look, y'all, look at this. This is really pretty. Like, look. It's super easy. It's like, it, okay, we're gonna see. Okay, so while I'm practicing, we just gonna practice. add one more here just for color. Okay, so you can just take one and you can practice how okay. you like. So practice if you're, I'm left-handed, so mm -hmm. it doesn't matter which hand you hold it in? No. Okay. So who, who, who are your support system? My support system, honestly, are my kids. How many kids do you have? I have two boys. 
y'all. I messed that up. <laughs> nope. So let me show you. Mm -hmm. So the great thing also about this mm -hmm. is that even if you mess up, you can add to it mm -hmm. to make it look like it's just perfect. Okay, so like, this is what I got. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna see her remix this and make her make it into something. So let's just add one more. Mm -hmm. And hold it like this. We're just gonna add another one to it. I'm gonna add another one to it. Are you pressing down? Mm hmm Okay. Yeah. Again. So you said your boys are your su support system. What about, do you have any other family who's your support system? My parents, um, my brother, my sister-in-law. Um, yeah, my immediate. Your immediate family? Mm -hmm. No boyfriend? No boyfriend. You mean to tell me, you making all these snacks and stuff and it ain't nobody up here eating all these snacks? Uh, just my kids. Are you looking? Are you? So she's looking. So if you like cupcakes, <laughs> She's looking, okay? <laughs> so what, I mean, what, like, what, are you, I mean, I'm not gonna say what type of man are you looking mm -hmm. for, but when it comes to dating, of course you gotta have somebody who's gonna work around the fact that you have kids, yes. that you have your own business, and is, is dating a challenge for you right now? Um, I would say it is, um, because of, I guess, my lifestyle, mm -hmm. per se. Um, it can be challenging because my schedule is kind of like scattered. With the with the kids or with the whole business thing? With both, yes. Okay. So like, you know, I may be free, you know, like, you know, like at this particular day, but then like the actual, the absolute next day, I may not be. Okay. Um, but, you know, I definitely try to Prioritize so if time. you're interested in her, you have to understand Listen. that she be busy with her cupcakes and her kids. Yes. Cupcakes and kids, okay? So if you can't understand that, then you can't have none of these goodies up here. And I need for you to be somewhat of an assistant as well. You want them to be an assistant? You want them to assist you with making cupcakes? Just be that support. Be the support. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what type of child, other than dating, what other type of dating challenges, what other type of challenges do you face? With uh, dating? No, with life in general. Oh, with life? Mm -hmm. Um, me, um, part of the things that I challenge with is time management. Yeah. I'm a big procrastinator, so I understand yeah. about time management. Like, I'll put stuff off. Mm -hmm. I always tell my fiance all the time, I'm going to do this today. And before I know it, I don't laid on the couch and watch reruns of everything. Right? And it's like, like, I understand about time man management. So, how do you, like... How do you fix your time management issues? So I've learned to women in like these different um, cake and and like baking groups um, have taught me to kind of bake ish in advance. Mm -hmm. um, you know to kind of prep early mm -hmm. so that I won't be rushing and to do you know a terrible job or something. I messed up. I don't know if I messed up, but I, I want to get better at decorating. Like, I guess it just takes practice or whatever. Like, I'm, I'm teaching myself that everything is not going to happen when you want mm -hmm. it to happen. Like, I'm not going to get this result on day one because you've been doing this for a while. How long have you been doing this? For a year. For a year. You've one been year. doing this for a year? Yes. I just celebrated my one year. Oh, yeah, you did say. It. You just yeah. celebrated your one. And what keeps you motivated other than your kids and what keeps you motivated? Because I'm, you said you, you... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. You I'm said like, you... This is your job, right? Mm-hmm. This is my nine to five. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. Do you have a lot of, like, customers? Do you have a lot of... What do you do on your... When you don't have a lot of people... Because let me tell you why I'm asking this. I've had several businesses that I've tried to start, and then I'll stop because I feel like I don't have the support. I don't have the sales. I yeah. see everybody else getting all these sales. I see everybody else... Moving and shaking, and I'm not getting anything. And I just like, you know what? I give up. I just, I, I quit. And I've seen you on Facebook say a couple of times, like I'm frustrated mm -hmm. because I'm not getting the customers that I thought I should get. I gotta get. I gotta have just basically. I gotta get this bill paid. This is my job. Mm -hmm. And me being a new entrepreneur and doing this new thing that I'm doing, 
what would you tell me to keep me motivated to keep moving forward? So even, you know, with me saying, you know, that I am frustrated, you know, and that I probably do want to quit once a week, mm -hmm. you know, I think, uh, like, you know, that's just the ups and downs, mm -hmm. you know, um, of having your own business. Mm -hmm. But the seeing, you know, results, you know, like such as that cake, you know, and the happiness from my customers who all in all, honestly, begin to be family. That's super pretty. See? Girl, Look at her getting better <laughs> already. Um, you know, um, and knowing of what I want to come out of mm -hmm. all this. Um, I have something. <laughs> what's your what? Oh, you got something in your eye. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's your what? You good? Mm -hmm. Okay. What's your ultimate goal? Like, what do you want? You want to have a business? Like, what's your ultimate goal? So, I would love to have a cupcake food truck. Mm -hmm. Like, I haven't seen a cupcake food truck right. running around here. Mm -hmm. I want it. Um, I want to do workshops. You know, I am a former teacher, so I want to be able to Are you teach. A teacher? Yes. I'm gonna try this. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> you know, I want to be able, you know, to teach kids and the grown-ups, you know, how to decorate. You know, one of the things that I've learned is that creating can improve self-esteem like no other thing out there. Mm -hmm. Um, I am a creator. I'm a crafter, you know, mm -hmm. it makes you feel good. Right. And you know, I just want people to feel good. And just to see, you know, I did that. Right. And, and that's how I feel, because you know, I, I used to be in the military, I went to Afghanistan, you know, mm -hmm. I have PCSD, I have a lot of things that go on in my life. And I feel like when I get in the kitchen, I have to focus on what's before me. I mm -hmm. can't let everything that's bothering me with life deter me for what I'm doing or else I'm not going to have something as pretty as this, something as nice as this. So say for example, your younger self came and she said she wanted to make some cupcakes with you. What is the conversation that you would have with your younger self? Ignore the negative thoughts that you may have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't talk yourself um, out of it. Do not talk yourself out of it. Mm -hmm. um, know that nothing is built overnight. Mm -hmm. Nothing is taught over overnight. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and to tune out, you know, the successes of other people. Mm -hmm. How they're getting theirs and their, um, their, Someone's journey is not your journey. Right. Um, so, you know, just do you. Do it in your own pace. But stay true to you and what you want to do. Mm -hmm. And everything else will fall into it's place. It's going to fall into I place. almost started jumping because I felt like he was talking. <laughs> Remember I said, I said, that's that's what how I felt mm -hmm. so many times because I had a t-shirt business. But I see mm -hmm. Kush tees with their t-shirts. And I'm like, hey, they got all these followers. They got all these t-shirts. Yeah. And, and I'm like, but the thing, okay, so I got a question for you mm -hmm. since I'm on that subject. Your, when it comes to your family and friends and charging your family and friends and stuff like that, do you believe in charging your family? Because, you know, a lot of family and friends feel like you're supposed to do things for free. No. Listen, Georgia Power <laughs> it does not allow me to do anything for free. Right. The only thing I do for free is to cook for my kids. Right. Um... Honestly, I charge everybody. Mm -hmm. I charge them too. I'd be like, hey, you want a cupcake? Give me a dollar. <laughs> you know? Charging the kids. Yeah, I sure do. <laughs> I give them money I, and I take it right back. Um, <laughs> teaching them something, though. That's teaching them. Right, yeah. Like, yeah, that's, te mm -hmm. that's teaching them something. No, I work hard for it, you know? Um, if I do discounts, which I do have, you know, like, I do have, like, $1 days, mm -hmm. you know, you know, often, you know, and pretty good sales, mm -hmm. you know, if they want it for a discount, they better catch that right. day. 
So what are your, if you don't mind going mm -hmm. over your prices and your mm -hmm. price list, because I know the holidays are coming up yes. and people want cupcakes, they want cups. What type of, what, do you make specialty pies or you only really specialize in cakes and cupcakes? So I do not do pies. Mm -hmm. um, I do, we do cakes, um, we do pound cakes, lemon pound cake, sour cream pound cake, um, whatsoever your heart desire, listen. We can make it happen around here. Right. Um, for like Thanksgiving, um, we have like a banana pudding um, cake, a red velvet cake. Mm -hmm. They start from forty dollars for eight inch, um, and we can make as big as a twelve inch. So everybody in your family can taste some of this cake. Right. Um, and I am actually running a deal um, that if you order. By, October, by November, I'm sorry, the 18th, um, and you pay in full, I'll take care of your delivery for you. And you so. actually, you're making my wedding cake for me, right? Yeah, I sure am. So she does wedding cakes too, y'all. So y'all yes. make sure, you, and how, I'm saying y'all, they make sure they hit you up, but how would they contact, how, okay. where's all your information so they can contact you? So on Instagram, Facebook, I am Say It With A Cupcake ATO. Um, you can reach me by phone as well. You, you can text me. You can, howsoever is the most convenient for you, um, is convenient for me as well. Um, you can text me at 470-601-7408. I'll try to reach back out to you as soon as I can. Um, yeah. And social media and phone. And that's the that's biggest the way, way, social media. Like, I, social media is the biggest way because I'm sure you're going to get some followers, you're going to get some customers today. I hope so because, let me tell you guys something. Listen. This is talent right here. This is talent. How long did it take you to make this cake? So, not too, too long okay. now. Um, of course, the bulk of the time is the uh, baking. Mm -hmm. um, but to decorate and to pipe, it doesn't take that that long. It doesn't. I'm gonna show you guys as well. Oh, that's me. Hey, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> that's a pretty cake right there. So we have cake that we made. And is this a two-layer cake or what? How many layers? This is just a one. I mean, I, I don't know how to because I'm not really. A, I'm a baker, but I'm not a baker baker. So totally understood. So that one is a three-layer mm -hmm. cake. Three layers. Yes. Oh, girl, you baker. <laughs> yes, for so sure, for sure, for sure. And it was so, 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 so fun talking to my friend Ashley. Thank you so much for doing this. Because, like no, I told no, everybody, you. this is my first episode. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. <laughs> you know, we Southern people. We right. don't shake hands. We right. hug. So this is my first episode, and I and I was nervous, but you didn't. You made me feel so comfortable, and awesome. I really, really, really appreciate that. So again, you guys, make sure you check her out on um, Instagram, which is Say with a Cupcake ATL. Mm -hmm. Um, Facebook, say it with a cupcake ATL. Telephone number 470-601-7408. All right, you guys, make sure you check us out. Make sure you check her out. Make sure you put in your orders for the holidays. She will be waiting. As always, love and light. Stay, 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 stay full and never. Stay.